there, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags, and we are in a touch of trouble. As you'll recall from the last episode, we took an airdrop torp. Yeah, we used to be an adventurer, but uh, we took an airdrop torp to the knee or something of that liking. Oh, that's not good. We are in the same position we were last time. Almost as soon as we exited the last battle, we were once again intercepted. So we are actually in a lot of trouble. Because this is the third anti-submarine warfare patrol in this spot. There are also submarines operating in the area, and we have a hole. We're sitting at 50 feet at the moment. It's not good, but that's where we are. Cheng Wei, this is not great. Is classified as escort. I am currently completely stationary. We are not moving in the slightest because I'm trying to avoid all noise. These guys are heading straight towards us. I'm not sure whether or not we can dive is the issue. Con that is a merchant. Five is classified as merchant. That is not. What are you? I don't think you're a warship. You've got a slight line here. What are you? God damn it, it is another warship. Alright, we got four. Sierra 4 is classified as escort. Alright, Sierra 2 is the closest one. Major threat, 14.7 kiloyards. We're still holding 50 feet, that's fine. I am pretty sure if we try and dive, we are going to flood. I just got really, really, really bad feeling on this. Conditions. We do have a layer. It's only a weak layer, but we have a layer at 142 feet and a weak duct. I just don't... I'm not confident of us actually managing to go to 150 feet and sit there and not sink. Um, what's... what's? I can't remember what the rule with submarines is. It's every... For, for every length that they dive that is the height of their hull and sail, the pressure doubles or something around those lines, or the pressure per square inch on the hull doubles. There is a rule that's related to the size of the submarine versus the depth that it goes down and how quickly the pressure escalates, which is why you can have a hole in the side of the hull here, be 50 feet under the surface, and you're fine. You're not flooding, everything's all good. But you double that depth, and suddenly you're, you're in a world of shit, and you're going down, and you haven't got enough ballast to bring yourself back up. And we have airdrop torps out as well, because brilliant. Alright. Well, I am stationary. I don't think I've got much of a choice at the moment. What is ambient noise? Is only 83. Alright, so we are going to dive to 150. I'm not liking this, but we are going to just slowly let ourselves sink to 150. We're going to drop fire our torps from below the layer, and then we're going to bring ourselves back up. Maneuvering eye. And we're going to keep it on damage control. That's well, 120 feet. We're not seeing any flooding so far. Damage control parties, lay to the engine room. Hundred and forty. We're still going fast here. All right, we're trying to slow down. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Con dive at one five zero feet. Dive by. We appear to be holding at one hundred and fifty feet. All right, we might be all right. I might be slightly overly panicky, but still better to be cautious. I am going to have to keep a close watch on that because if anything changes. We're at five knots too. All stop. Make turns for zero knots. All stop. I don't want to make any noise. All right. Torpedo launches. We're going to go two to our left. Shoot two one. Aye sir. Shoot two two. Aye sir. Two to our right. Con sonar regain contact on Sierra one bearing three two five. Now I want to be clear, I don't want to be involved in this fight. I am 
really sketch about the hole in the side of this hull. Alright, so we've managed to maneuver the torpedoes away. So far they haven't been detected. So we're going to bring torpedo 2. Up first, torpedo 1. We're going to scooch past the looter and go for the Zheng Wei. And then from over here, torpedo 3. We're going to turn in now and go straight for Sierra 3, Zheng Wei. And 4... I'm going to just to get it past the wreck and go for the other looter. Now, still negative 24 on signatures. The Zhang Wei is doing 20 knots, so it's deaf as a post, even though it's banging away. The looter is only doing 9. That's more concerning, but it's still negative 14 to our location, so we will not be detected by the active at this point it is more likely that she may, it either she's stopping to listen to what the Zhang Wei is pinging because Zhang Wei pings Luda can actually hear the return itself so one can go move along and bang away the other one can listen same goes for any combination on the surface alternatively she may have heard the torpedoes coming in not that that's going to make much of a difference to her biggest issue I want, I'm concerned about is the dipping sonar was about there I haven't seen it since but the dipping sonar can absolutely listen to the return pings from the various actively pinging surface ships as well we've seen what the dipping sonar can do and the next torpedo it does not matter what happens um, I haven't set these to surface run so Gun, I should probably correct control, that there we go fire. that's what we wanted um, yeah, it doesn't matter what happens, the next torpedo will absolutely kill us. Like, there is no we might survive the next one, we, we won't. I'm going to adjust. Now, Zheng Wei is heading almost directly towards us, which is... Yeah, I'm going to activate torpedo 3 early. It can go to the surface and start doing its scan just to speed it up. Torpedo 4, that can stay as is for the moment. Once it's past the Zhang Wei, I'll activate it, send it after the looter. Closest boats first, just to get rid of the closest active sonar. Luna, uh, the looter is turning away. That makes me think it probably knows what's coming. Or at least has some inkling on what's about to happen to it. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, eight, eight. All right, torpedo has reacquired. Con sonar, Boom. Last contact, Sierra, two, last bearing, two, eight, eight. Contact breaking up. All right, looter is down. So we just need to get one past. Zheng Wei is making a turn, that makes sense. Other Zheng Wei has made a turn, that makes sense. The other Luda. Yeah, I'm going to keep that torpedo going a little bit further. Reload tube, still holding 150 Gun feet. Sonar. So it looks like a hundred, we're fine for 150 three, feet. Two, nine. Torpedo 3, we got counter fire, drop from the Zheng Wei. There we go. Fire. Three has... Yeah, I think it's tracking that, not the countermeasure. Oh, it was. Alright, manual tracking. And... Alright, immediate threats contact. have been dealt Sierra, with. Three. Last bearing, three, two, five. Contact breaking up. Torpedo one. 
Com now active and acquire. acquire Zheng Wei. And Torpedo 4, we can now send it active because we don't have to worry about the Zheng Wei swinging back and track it and on the looter. Time remaining on torpedoes, 10 minutes 54 seconds active time on torpedo 4. Torpedo 1, 10 minutes 40. Alright, we're good. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing, 3, 0, 6. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing, 3, 0, 7. Sonar, noisemaker bearing, three, one, three. Con sonar lost contact, Sierra, one, last bearing, three, one, three. Contact breaking up. All right. So, two looters sunk, two Zheng Wei sunk, another 10,960 tons on the bottom. We have six Mark 48s remaining, which shows how many ships we've had to deal with defending this area. 10,960 experience gained, but hopefully we actually get a breakaway now because we need to get out of here. This is not our mission objective yet. I think our mission objective might be done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have not moved so much as a foot or an inch or a centimeter or, you know, pick your measurement of choice since the last engagement. We haven't even turned the engines on. I had a decent look at the map this time before we were thrown into the next battle and there were multiple stacks of anti-submarine warfare ships and multiple stacks of submarines all essentially taking up the same tile. So we're being hit really hard here. Uh, we could have potentially anywhere between 10 and probably 30, 40 Con, so ships Sierra, between two, all the stacks and could have emergent. half that in submarines. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this one goes. On the upside, this Romeo has given us a nice tail here. So we are going to sink it. We are going to sink it because otherwise we're going to have to sit around for hours. Well, there we go, we got another target up. So that will be its pair. So there are two submarines. Con, sonar, Sierra, no, it's a merchant. Three, I take it back. Alright, there's merchant. still potentially another submarine here we can't see. And if it's a Romeo, there almost always is. Pardon me. So, we will sink this one, and hopefully that will let us exit the zone, and we won't get engaged by the rest. We have five torpedoes remaining. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 1. Alright, so we're doing some fancy driving with the torpedo to try and keep onto the, Rome, uh, the Romeo 6 but uh, and in her baffles, but unfortunately, torpedo has been detected. So we'll turn it on to target, go Con, active. Fire control, weapon acquired. Uh, no, you want to go that way. 
please. You're not running for surface targets. We can actually match your depth. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Romeo is at about 300 feet, so we will match depth. There you are. Cool. And the counterfire is only a risk to the troller and the merchant, not us. So we are still good. Torpedo detected and tracking target. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, seven, six. Con sonar, lost contact, Sierra, one, last bearing, one, seven, five, contact breaking up. Alright, so that's that. Romeo down, 1,830 tons, 5 torpedoes remaining, another 7,320 experience. At the very least, we're leveling up. I'm assuming we can actually get home and get our sub fix. This will be really useful. Of course, this wasn't our mission target. Let's try this again. On sonar, new contact bearing, 3, 2, 6, designated Sierra, 1. Yeah, have, have a guess who did not move Con at all. I didn't even have bearing, to turn... Zero, two. Zero. Designated Sierra, two. Okay, that's interesting. C to speed is set to five. But our screw's not moving, because even the game recognises we haven't moved so much as an inch. Alright, cool. So, intercepted by another submarine group. Same area, same thing, and once again, we can't run, we can't dive, we can't fight. So, let's see what we've got at the very least and see what we have to survive this time. At least they haven't been making it too difficult. We just stay where we are and we win. Uh, looks like another Romeo. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged That is submarine. not a Romeo, however. That, I think, is a trawler. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is trawler. All right, this one here we can actually check. Let's go to 44. And I'll do this to clear all future targets. What is the Romeo? God, they've put the Romeo right on top of us because, of course, they have. Pop the radar mast. Conditions. All right, we do have a layer we can use. All right, radar down. Let's go to 150 feet. We know 150 feet's okay. The closer we are to the layer, the, and we've got a moderate duct and a moderate layer now, the closer we get to it, the more, the uh, the better this is. The, uh, the further you are away from the duct in terms of angle, so the, the, the higher the angle is, the more likely the sound will penetrate and be heard by what is below the layer. The lower your angle to the layer, so the closer you are to it, the more chances that sound is going to skip in the duct. So at 150 feet, the duct is at 221. We'll be sitting right above it. We can be there in just a moment. That is close enough as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to fire a torpedo, and we are going to fire the torpedo away from the Romeo. We're going to try and get the torpedo to go straight over the top. And then we're going to get it to come back around and come back underneath. Now, the risky part here is if we throw a wire, we're going to have a Mark 48 coming back in the direction where we are. But uh, it is the easiest way to make sure this Romeo doesn't wind up shooting torps in our direction. The faster we can get it onto the other side, the faster all of its torps will be going that way, and that's what we would prefer. So, there we go. Alright, that is close enough by my reckoning. We are going to activate the torpedo. Bring it on to target manually and let's drop it below the layer. I want this submarine to hear it now and start reacting and hopefully assuming targets are off this side. Alright, 
so the Romeo is sitting at eight knots at the moment. It's only, well, it's not that far from us. Running at about 8.8 .8 kilo yards at the moment, five knots. But we completely shut down, no screw movement, nothing. We are doing the same thing we've been doing for the last two engagements, sitting perfectly still, hoping nobody detects us. We're still holding 150 feet, so it looks like we are good for that. I have a sneaking suspicion if we dive below 200, we start sinking. I just, I've, I've got this feeling that that's going to be about where things are at. Torpedo away from the Romeo, counterfire directly onto our torpedo, so in the opposite direction to us, which is fantastic, so we don't have to maneuver. This is. Things like this and situations like this is why it's always good even on easy fights Consumer, or easy engagements Three, to practice one, all the hook shots that I do in just about every single video that you see. There is a reason why I do these and it's for situations like this. Even if I'm in a submarine that is has higher performance than the Collins, even God, if I'm in one control, that can tor do torpedo beats and do them well, throw off torpedoes, manually avoid, Collins isn't particularly great at that, but even if it was, it's best to practice on how not have to do that because even the best submarines will occasionally take damage and if they do you can run into situations where you just can't use your full engine power you can't use your dive performance you can't use any of the features you would normally use and if you're not practicing proper stealthy engagements and making sure that the enemy has no idea where you are and is not putting you at threat when they realize they're under attack Con sonar lost contact. You make the game Sierra more difficult one, for yourself. Last bearing three one six contact breaking up. Right there we go. So Romeo's been killed twice. Hopefully, hopefully we can get away from this position now and actually start making our way back to get the hull patched up. I have a sneaking suspicion though that our uh, our mission to sink the Russian fleet, I think it's a wash. Alright, so Romeo sunk, another 1,830 tons, another 7,320 experience points. We are now down to four Mark 48, so one in, the ones in the tube are all we have at this point. Still no systems damage, just hull damage. But that's good, we don't want to take another hit. And that was not my mission target. Yeah, I know. Hopefully we can go home now.